In this video, we're continuing on with the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet simplifying rational expressions. Picking up in number 15, we're going to need to simplify the polynomial in the numerator and the denominator in order to find a common term or common quantity that we can cancel out. In the numerator, we need to see what two numbers multiply to give us a positive 12 and add to give us a positive 8. So the factors of 12 that will work are 6 and 2 because 6 plus 2 equals 8, and 6 times 2 equals positive 12. So we'll rewrite the numerator as x plus 6 times x plus 2. Now our denominator we're also going to rewrite. Keep in mind that we're going to try to rewrite it so that we have x plus 2 or x plus 6. So what two numbers multiply to give us negative 18 and add to give us a positive 3? Well, the factors of 18 that will work are 6 and 3, where that 3 is negative. 6 minus 3 equals 3, and 6 times negative 3 equals negative 18. So rewriting our denominator, we'll have x plus 6 times x minus 3. So you can see that our x plus 6 will cancel out in both the numerator and denominator, leaving us with x plus 2 over x minus 3. That's our simplified expression in number 15. In number 16, same concept. What two numbers multiply to give us positive 18 and add to give us negative 11? So looking at the factors of 18, that's going to be 9 and 2, where both the 9 and 2 are negative, because negative 9 times negative 2 is a positive 18, and negative 9 plus negative 2 is a negative 11. So rewriting our numerator as x minus 9, times x minus 2, we're going to now rewrite our denominator, hoping to get either x minus 9 or x minus 2 as one of those factors. So what multiplies to give us negative 8 and adds to give us a positive 2? The factors of 8 that will work are 4 and 2, where that 2 is negative. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and 4 minus 2, or 4 plus negative 2, is a positive 2. So we'll have x plus 4 times x minus 2 as the factor form of our polynomial in the denominator. So you can see that I have x minus 2 in the numerator and x minus 2 in the denominator that will cancel each other out. So for number 16, I'll have x minus 9 left in my numerator and dividing that by x plus 4 that's left in my denominator. So my solution is x minus 9 over x plus 4. Continuing on to number 17, simplifying my numerator, what multiplies to give me negative 28 and adds to give me a positive 3. So the factors of 28 that will work are 4 and 7, where that 4 is negative, because negative 4 plus 7 is a positive 3, and negative 4 times 7 is that negative 28. So I'll have b minus 4 times b plus 7 as the factored form of my numerator. Now I need to factor my denominator. So I need to see what two factors multiply to give me a negative 49, but add to give me 0. And that's going to be 7 and negative 7. 7 times negative 7 is negative 49, and 7 plus negative 7 is 0, because I do not have a term multiplied to b. I do not have a plus or minus b term. So I'll rewrite this as b plus 7 times b minus 7. That's the factored form of b squared minus 49. And if you don't feel comfortable and you want to double check, feel free to foil out that denominator. b times b is b squared b times negative 7 is negative 7b, 7 times b is positive 7b, and when I add those I get 0b, so I have b squared minus or plus 0b, and then 7 times negative 7 is that negative 49. Now you can see that b plus 7 and b plus 7 will cancel each other out, because b plus 7 over b plus 7 is 1. So I'll have b minus 4 over b minus 7. And that is my solution in number 17. And if you need to think of this, feel free to rewrite this as b minus 4 over b minus 7 times b plus 7 
over b plus 7 so that you can see that indeed b plus 7 and b plus 7 will cancel out to equal 1 and 1 times any quantity is that quantity that you're multiplying 1 by. Let's continue on to number 18. In number 18, I need to see what two numbers multiply to give me negative 40 and add to give me negative 3. Right away, I know that that's going to be 5 and 8, where that 8 is negative. 5 minus 8, or 5 plus negative 8, is negative 3, and 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. So, because my variable is v, I'm going to have v plus 5 times v minus 8. v plus 5 times v minus 8. So that's the factored form of my numerator. Now I gotta find the factored form of my denominator, hoping to get either v plus five or v minus eight as one of those factors. So what two numbers multiply to give me positive 24 and add to give me a negative 11? So looking at 24, that's going to be three and eight, where both of them are negative. Negative three times negative eight is a positive 24, and negative three plus negative eight is a negative 11. So I'll have v minus 3 times v minus 8, and indeed I'm going to be able to cancel out a quantity, v minus 8 over v minus 8. So canceling out a binomial from my numerator and my denominator, I'll get v plus 5 divided by v minus 3. That is my solution in number 18. Now number 19, in my opinion, is a little simpler. I have a 4 in common in my numerator, so I'll be able to pull out a 4. So I'll have 4 times n minus 1. And if I was to redistribute that 4, I would get 4n minus 4. And in my denominator, I'll be able to pull out a 2, because 2 goes into both 6n and 20. 2 times 3n equals 6n, and then I'm subtracting 2 times 10, because 2 times 10 is 20. So 2 times 3n minus 10 is 6n minus 20 simplified. Now 4 and 2 are both even numbers, so they're both divisible by 2. So I can rewrite the numerator as 2 times 2 times n minus 1, and my denominator leave it as 2 times 3n minus 10. Just so you can see that my 2 will indeed cancel out with the 2 and the numerator. Or you could think of this as dividing the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. So I'll be left with 2 times n minus 1 all over 3n minus 10. That's my solution in number 19. And lastly, in this video, I'll go over number 20. However, before I go over the solution to this, please remember to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions just show me that you're finding these videos useful and in turn give me support. So feel free to do that now. Hopefully that you've done that. Let's go over number 20. In number 20, I need to see what two numbers multiply to give me negative 14 and add to give me a negative 5. The factors of 14 that will work are 7 and 2 where that 7 is negative. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14 and negative 7 plus 2 is a negative 5. So my numerator factored, because I have a variable of v, is going to be v minus 7 times v plus 2. Now I need to factor my denominator. What multiplies to give me positive 4 and adds to give me positive 4? That's going to be 2 and 2, where both the 2's are positive. So I'll have v plus 2, v plus 2. So you can see that one of those v plus 2's will cancel out, leaving me with v minus 7 in the numerator and v plus 2 in the denominator. So v minus 7 divided by v plus 2 is my final solution in this video. Join me in the next video where I'll finish out this worksheet completing numbers 21 through 26. However, if you didn't do so before number 20, before continuing on, Click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video.